Lady Bash, it's the 15th of July, 2019, and I may probably won't get this up until tomorrow. So, it's the 16th of July, but I had to get this down because a lot of new things happened today, but there's one that I definitely have to share with you right off the top of, of this whole thing. And it relates directly to the little town I, I showed you guys yesterday where they had this, you know, the 666, you know what I mean. Well, this is Plantation Road. We go the opposite direction. And it turns into Hobbs Road. And this is all still part of this plantation, you know. And it comes to an end. And there is a trail at that end. And I'm going to show you that right here. This is, this is coming up North 153. I just want you to see that sign there, Lord's Hill Historic District, and this is 153 coming up into the village, and it's a really cool place, it really is, but this place is steeped in Freemasons, like everywhere. And this is, this is the 153, and there's the corner of Plantation and Province Lake right there. And you see right here, it's number 665, and right across the street is number 666. And there happens to be a big meeting house, they call it. And you have all these old mansions. This was all started by this guy Isaac Lord and if you continue down here I'm gonna show you right down here at the uh, other end of the plantation something it's really cool and you gotta just wrap your mind around you know the whole thing the whole thing is just bizarre you know what I'm saying when you pull up here this is a trail, a hiking trail. And look what the name of the hiking trail is. High Watch Preserve. Praise God. So, think about that. I mean, that's that's pretty interesting if you if you think about it. High Watch I mean, I'm sure there's other High Watch Preserves in the country, right? But that's pretty crazy, and it happens to be since 1901, the 9-11 connection that I see in multiple places, as well as Babylon uh, being taken to the threshing floor. You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah 51, I mean 51, 33 of all verses. Um, Babylon is coming up here. I mean, Babylon's definitely talked about in Ezekiel 17. I didn't talk about that yesterday there's a lot of reading here but i'll tell you the best i can understand is that it's it's saying this calamity is coming it's saying god's judgment is coming you know that's the the best most kind of like fit i can give it because i don't know specifics by any stretch of the imagination you know but the plantation the lord of the harvest you know the high watch and several other interesting connections that you know some of you have shared with me, which I, I appreciate so much. I don't tell you enough, but you guys are the best. The blackout, all these different things, you know. Uh, the 42 months that the Antichrist will, you know, be running the show is in Revelation 13, 5. The explosion in Plantation, Florida. Get a load of this. That, that address was 1017 South University. <laughs> And all these 23 injured and whatnot. I mean, it's just really interesting stuff. It really is. You know, last year in February on the 2nd, the Dow dropped 666 points. And on the 17th, it'll be 531 days. 17 months, 16 days. There's several interesting things. The 17th from 9-11-2001 will be 17 years, 10 months, and 7 days. I mean, this is just the way it is, you know? These things are kind of just opened up to me. I look at them, I search them out, and I write them down. This is like telling us something. There's just no way around it. I mean, no way around it. 
at the very least, we are to be on high watch. That's all I can tell you because stuff is a going down. And that's all there is to it. You can already see it all around you. Not only is the um, that date 17, 10, 7, but that number of days, 65, 19, happens to mean open country without walls. And look at all the border stuff we're dealing with now. And it means also to separate, to decide. That means come out of her. You know what I mean? Because this stuff really is closing in. And it's all going to change in a very short minute. And you want to be in Christ. He is the only truth you'll find. It's just the way it is. Okay, so just remember that. And uh, peace and grace to all of you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 